choices. Let's talk about it. <sighs> this morning uh, was a little unique. I woke up this morning with a lot of things heavy in my heart and a lot on my mind. And so as I was uh, walking up to the bus stop to get the bus to go to work, um, I was really praying and meditating hardcore. Um, just some things that I just wanted to get off of my chest. I tend to do that, so uh, if you happen to see me walking and I'm moving my mouth, I'm not crazy. I'm <laughs> most likely I'm just praying or something. <laughs> I've been a little upset with God lately. I've been upset with him because the things that I see and the things that I'm envisioning about my life um, are not paralleling with what's really going on. What do you mean, Colin, you ask? All right, so let me tell you what I mean. For a while now, I have been working hardcore on accomplishing some goals of mine. Because of my faith in God, I feel that certain things should just happen for me. Now, I'm not saying that things are to just be given to me. No, no, no. There's no entitlement with this. But I do feel that things should move along a lot more than what it is now. So uh, I found myself this morning asking, you know, why aren't things working for me? How come I can't get the things that I need? Why is everyone else around me blowing by me, progressing? And these are the same N-words that ain't doing nothing with their life. But yet, they seem to be doing way better than me. So, after a few minutes of thought, a few minutes of pondering, I think I figured it out. About choices. Let me explain. As an adult, I try to surround myself around people who are positive and who are go-getters, overachievers, faithful, business-minded, and goal-oriented. But today, after doing some self analyzation I started realizing, and I guess I had to come to grips with the fact that some of the people in my life are the total opposite of what I just said. I realized, as I was thinking, that there are people in my life who have made the choice live a mediocre and menial life. I even had to acknowledge the fact that I have some people that are in my life who have made the choice not to live, but to die. By me keeping these people in my life, what I'm doing is making the choice to allow their negative and their poisonous outlook on life, as well as a negative spirit, do what it's supposed to do, which is what? To keep me down. So as I continue to talk to God, I really started thinking a lot about this thing called choice. But I found myself asking God, God, why am I being punished for other people's choices? Heck, I made the choice to live. I made the choice to believe. I see my potential. I exercise my faith on a daily basis, but it seems that I'm the one whose blessings are getting blocked out. I understand that in life, that all of us, we face challenges. We're supposed to face challenges. And I sincerely believe that God allows these challenges to come into our life for a reason. But I also believe that these challenges do have an expiration date. But as I was talking, I started to really reflect over my own life and I begin to start thinking about some of the choices that I made in the past. The cards, stopping sprees, the cars, jobs. So I started to really think and ponder and, and wonder and ask myself, maybe I should have stayed at that job. Maybe I should have just waited it out, paid for the car first, and then moved out. Maybe I shouldn't have moved in with At that moment, what I was doing was I was acknowledging the fact that I made some choices and I was taking responsibility for the choices that I made. What I was also doing was acknowledging the fact that some of the choices that I made in the past may have something to do with some of the things that's going on in my life presently. Well, then all of a sudden, as I'm in my moment, be talking to God. I hear something say, but well, what kind of choices are you making now? I began to go down this laundry list of choices that I make and I started seeing how I make choices now, how I pray before I make a choice, how I'll go seek, and, uh, I'll go seek counsel and I'll come, go and consult some friends uh, before I make a choice, how I compare and contrast choices from my past to uh, what's going on now, how I make those choices and again, I hear something else. But when you made those choices, Colin, how did you feel about yourself? I felt insecure and I didn't know who I was. Boom! I had an epiphany. I started realizing at that moment was that we as human beings, we tend to make choices based on who we are and how we feel about ourselves. And as I'm thinking, I can honestly say that back in the day, the choices that I made were made based on how I felt about myself. I made a bunch of choices off of one, not knowing who I was, 
two, I need to seek approval and validation from the wrong people. Three, because I wasn't secure with who I was. Now fast forward to the grown man that I am today. I can say that things are a little different. I'm secure with who I am. I don't look for validation from anyone now. I love myself and I say that I'm, I'm secure with myself. <laughs> Choices are our God-given right to make. We have the power to choose what we become in life. But what I'm realizing is that we don't tap into the power to make the choice about who we allow to come into our lives. We are fulfilling dreams. Having the right connections is very vital. Let's look at it from this perspective. You probably won't be married too long or you'll have a very rough marriage if your spouse is sitting here dissing everything that you try to do. On the parenting side. It'll be hard for you to respect your parents if your parents are constantly crucifying everything that you try to do that seems to be outside of the scope of their own understanding and their own experience. It will be challenging to be amongst friends. They're constantly belittling you, making fun of you, meaning you are ridiculing you or wanting to follow your own destiny. But here's the thing. All of those people who are against you, all of those people who are making fun of you, all of those people who are ridiculing you, funny how they've made a choice not to succeed, not to dream, not to live, not to love, not to achieve, not to set goals. Their only desire is to make you like them. When you begin to make the choice to cut ties with and disconnect yourself from toxic relationships and toxic people, I guarantee you things will begin to get much better. You just have to begin making the choice to choose you. Make the choice to change your inner circle. Begin to choose people who have the same mindset as you, who have the same goals and aspirations as you do, who are supporters and who are secure with who they are. And let me say this, if you are angry all the time, that's because you're making the choice to be angry. If you are harboring ill feelings and refuse to let things go, that's because you're making a choice to harbor ill feelings and not to let things go. If you are arguing with everybody and being confrontational, that's because guess what? You're making a choice to be arguing with everybody and to be confrontational. So, so after I had my moment today with God, I began to make the choice to be okay with me actually making a choice for me. I have also made the choice to completely disconnect myself from toxic people, toxic relationships, and from people who are constantly making bad choices for themselves. The thing is this, if my life doesn't go the way that I want it to go, it will be my choice, not because of the choice of others. My overall point, and the thing that I guess I learned, I think I already knew, but the thing that I got reminded of, don't let the choices of a few destroy who you are. If you're around people who make bad choices, that means you don't need to be around them. It's their bad choices will manifest itself in the things that you do and could possibly keep you from reaching your goals and your destiny. You make better choices and be okay with the choice that you make for you.